Hello, and welcome to another edition of Let's Create with the City of Tampa's Visual Arts Team. My name is Chris Van Hillo, and today we are going to work on some fun earrings. Several years ago, I got these bead curved tubes from Fire Mountain Gem. And I had gotten them, I had gotten some at a bead show, but the ones I bought were really, really large. So <laughs> these are the large ones. And these are the smaller ones. So I will hold this up so you can see it. If you want to order these from Fire Mountain Gem. Since I have made one of these earrings, I feel like I need to make the second earring so that I have a set. And I have all my supplies that I need in my little bowl here. Um, these are just little bead and bead caps. I'll see if I can find the uh, source for these. Uh, and the rest, of the little balls that I used were sterling silver. I have three millimeter and four millimeter. I kept them in the bowl so they don't roll away from me. So I have all my components in this bowl. Uh, you know the drill. We've got the round nose, the chain nose, and the uh, flush straight edge, whatever you want to call them. And I have my little wire cutter here. I'm using artistic wire 20 or 22 gauge. I'm going to go with the 22 gauge. It's a little softer. And then of course we need, in order to uh, get the thing on here, we're going to need a jump ring and uh, ear wire. I'm going to start by taking my 22 gauge wire and I'm going to cut five and a half, six inches. I'm going to go with six, although I know five and a half is more than enough. If this were sterling, I'd, I'd uh, definitely be more concerned with how much I'm using. And on one end, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, bend this down so nothing comes flying off on me. And if you look at the earring here, I've started with the three millimeter bead. Okay, so I'm going to grab my three millimeter bead. It's, I have hand lotion on and everything's sliding around on me. Okay, so then I'm going to grab my curved little piece of metal here. And I have to kind of curve this wire around to invite it to accept this. Okay, so I just kind of curve it around. I'm going to bend that in a little bit more. Okay. And I want it to go right up flush against there. Okay, see that? Okay, now like I have here, I'm going to grab a three millimeter. Okay, so I'm going to put the three millimeter and then I'm going to jump up to a two millimeter. And then I'm going to jump to my bead cap. And you know you're gonna fidget around with this a little bit to get that bead to, to fit right inside there. Then I'm going to add my pearl. These were my mother's, by the way. And uh, you know I can't throw anything away. I save everything, and I love that I did that because now I have a beautiful pair of earrings that will remind me of my mom. Okay, now here's another little bead star cap. Putting that on. Now we're working in reverse. So. If I had uh, the two, three, two millimeter here, three millimeter here, so now I need the bigger bead. And this might be a three and a four. I'm, I'm going to have to look. I definitely will type this up for you guys like I always do. All right, so here's the bigger bead. Get in there. And then here's the smaller bead. I did a pair yesterday and I forgot to add the bead at the end. <laughs> Okay, then I'm going to add my curved bit, okay, and then there's a little bit of fidgeting you're going to have to do. Okay, so then I'm going to bring this up. So what I'm going to do, oh, I'm sorry, I have to add one more bead here, a uh, small uh, three mil, or four mil. This is a four mil, sorry. Okay, I just remembered that. All right, put that on there, get on there, okay. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and 
I want to shift this because I want to have more room at the end here. So I'm just going to shift everything, okay, and align it, you know, align it so that everything's flowing. Okay, can you see how it's kind of flowing? But you also want to make sure it's, you know, makes sense so it's, you know, everything's straight. Okay. I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm just going to bend this wire. If I'm holding the earring toward me, I'm going to bend the wire up and away from me a little bit. Then I'm going to go to the other side here and bend this away a little bit. Okay. Because now what I want to do is bring these together and I'm going to add that larger bead and both pieces of wire need to go through here so okay now I'm just going to have to massage a little bit because I want it to uh, want to line up okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my hoop on one side and then I'm going to wrap it on the other side and what's important is that it's uh, somehow even <laughs> she says even okay so I'm going to separate these a little bit bring that down a little bit and I think I'm going to let this one be the one that I'm pushing away from me and rolling over so I'm going to come all the way down to about here okay I'll get that out of the way for a minute I'm going to push that I'm come a little closer I'm going to push like we do. Okay, I'm going to push this down away from me. I'm going to rotate my pliers and I'm going to bring that up and over like that. If you want, you can bring it around one time. Just so it you know, is secure. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to cut that off. Okay. And then you're going to start wrapping with the other wire. So make sure you're straight. And you just, yeah, that's a little bit long. I'm not really happy. Shoot. Okay. It's, I'm chasing it around. Did you see that? Okay, so I'm going to have to hold on to that like this while I start wrapping. So let me grab a pair of pliers here till I at least get it started, okay? There we go. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to... I really like that. came out nice. Okay. See how that came out? All right. I'm going to continue to wrap this. Now I'm going to grab it here. And I'm going to try to use my fingers. And I want, I kind of want to wrap down toward the, the bead. And I'm just going to cut that off. Whee! I didn't put my finger over it. It went flying, but there's no one sitting next to me. So, And then I'm just going to smoosh that down. And so it doesn't catch me in the air. Okay. Then I, okay, there's that set of earrings. You don't have to use the sterling silver balls you could use regular beads you could use seed beads you could use six o's you could use eight o's you could even go smaller uh, i just happen to like the sterling silver ball so i'm going to pull my sterling silver balls out i have a fine little collection of those uh, these are the stars that i really like and of course they were a free gift so sorry can't tell you what they were i do have a wonderful collection of little bead caps from from bead shows that I've been to. These little rondelles might be kind of fun too. I could see that going on. Okay, so let me get my next set together and we'll see how we do. Okay, here we go, round two. Go ahead and do seven inches this time on my wire because I'm going to try these malachites that my uh, mother had brought back from Africa back in the 70s and I've just always held on to these little stones. Okay, we're gonna see if this works because I forgot to bring my bead stops. I'm just going to put a, um, Sarah calls these flippy clips, okay, flippy clip at the end. So I have that, then I'm going to, I have to curve this a little to get that 
to invite that to go on there. So I'm going to add my curved piece here. Curve, curve, curve. Get on there, get on there. Keep going. Okay, there it is. Okay. Uh, then I have to add my graduating sterling. So I'm going to grab the 4 mil again. Then I'm going to grab the 3 mil. Let's see how these look. Are these too big? I, I think these would be nice. So um, say hi, Sarah, to the video. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Oh, I, I really like that. It fits perfect. Okay, so where's the second? Watch, I'll only have one in here. No, I have a second one. Okay, so say hi, Chloe. Hi to the video. Hi, video. Yeah, Chloe's going to be our guest speaker today. <laughs> okay, so here is our, really like how that looks. Okay, so now I have to work in reverse. So I have to grab the larger sterling ball. Okay, now I'm going to grab the smaller one. Here is the curved bit that's going to go there. Okay. And I'm going to bend them so that they're bend them like Beckham. And then I need one more of the 4 mil. Okay. I like that. Can you see it? I kind of like that. Okay, so I'm going to center like I did last time. I'm going to kind of push it and center it so that I have more wire. Now I need to decide if I want to have a larger uh, like a 2 mil or a 3 mil and I kind of I kind of like that but I think for these I'm not going to do that. Okay. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to do that hoop our, our closed loop on each end. So I'm going to go ahead and add the flippy clip to one end so it Sarah's flippy clip. <laughs> I like that so when I labeled the box. Flippy clip. I'm like, oh, that's what they're flippy called? Clips. I didn't know that. All right, there's a flippy clip. That's it. All right, so I really want this small, so I'm going to use the, the smallest bit of my plier that I can. I'm going to push it away from me. Then I'm going to rotate my plier, and I'm going to bring it up and over. Then I'm going to put my little nose in there. And then I'm going to turn it. This is 22 gauge, so you should be able to use your fingers once, twice, and I'm going to go three times. Then I'm going to bring it back a hair and cut it so that when I want to lay it down, it's already got a memory for going partially around, okay? Cut that as close as I can. And that's nice. Okay, and then I'll take my chain nose and push that what I crimp, you know, crimp it down. Okay. All right. So there's one side. Now I want to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So this is the, oops, you got to make sure everything is jam up and jelly tight. Okay. So did you see what happened a second ago? That thing had turned and that, that wouldn't be too funny. Uh, yeah, you just have to take it apart and start over. Okay. So I'm moving everything down as tightly as I can. I'm going to lay these round nose pliers right on top of that bead. I can't get any closer. See it? And I'm going to bend that away from me. Then I'm going to rotate my pliers up. I'm going to bring it up and around. Then I'm going to pick up my pliers and put them back in. And I'm going to start wrapping. And I want to make sure that I'm going toward this uh, the bead because I want it to be really tight. If I'm moving away from it, then there's a chance I'll have a big gap there, and I don't want a big gap there. So I'm going to start wrapping the wire, and I'm going to make sure that I'm working toward the design. Okay, and I think that's got it. That's nice and tight. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hold this down. I'm going to wrap this wire around. Oops, going the wrong way. Wrap it around and then I'm going to bring it back. And then I'm going to cut as close as I can. <clears throat> okay. And then I'm just going to take my needle nose. Oops. And just print that down. Okay. 
Then I'm just going to marry these two like this. So find the end of your jump ring. I think I see it right there. You know how to open a jump ring front to back. So I'm just twisting. And I'm going to grab that one and then that one. Uh, and while I have this little puppy open, it would make sense. I should have had it sitting here and I didn't. To grab an ear wire and go ahead and put that in all at one top. That one's missing the... Isn't that sweet? I've never seen that before. It was missing the little loop there. All right, so go ahead and put this there and grab your second set of pliers and close this off. I can't see it. Okay, make sure you get a nice good connection. And there's my malachite earring. I really like it. Let's see how heavy Sarah's it is. Sarah's here working on jewelry too. Look at this cool stuff she's going to work on today and she's going to do a video. Isn't it awesome? Ah, set there. Mm. <laughs> so this stuff. <laughs> um, Careful, she's. I just rolled them. out a a really thin slab, and then I painted all over the slab. I just covered the slab with like underglazes and like and you know like different glazes like pints that I have at home, and the designer liners, and then I just used my tiny cookie cutters um, and just cut out the shapes out of that whole slab. That was so much easier than trying to, than cutting all the pieces out and trying to cut them or yeah. trying to paint them like individually. Shut up. Look I at know. Look at so is this nichrome wire that you have in there? Yes. Yep. Fine. Very yep. fine nichrome. And you know, this, it works obviously when you fire the nichrome, it gets a little brittle. Yeah, but you can scratch it with a... Yeah, but yeah. you know, also, but if you start messing with it, it will oh, break. Oh, yeah, you gotta be careful. So, yeah, okay. so when you assemble these, you have to be pretty careful about how you're messing with the wire. Okay, thank you, guest speaker Sarah. In a little while, we'll have guest speaker Chloe. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and make a, the second malachite earring, and I just want to clarify if you know you're not gonna add that large bead at the top like I did on this one. You don't need to use the zippy clip or whatever Sarah was calling those things. What was she calling them? Flippy, flippy clip. Flip. Flippy flip. clip. Okay. Yep. You can go ahead and do your uh, rounded loop. So I'm just going to do that now. And again, we want it to be as small as we can. So I'm going to go down to the smallest part. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Nope. Wrong way. Okay. The smallest part of your plier that you can, you know, get a good hold on. And you're going to push that wire away from you. And then you're going to rotate your pliers and you're going to bring your wire up and over so you have like the little, you know, question mark. Then you're going to put your pliers back in and you're going to bring your wire back up parallel, okay? And you can reposition if you want. And then you're just, you want to be able to wrap it around a minimum of two. I have a habit of going three. And then, like I was telling you, if you go a little bit further away and then bring it back, wire has a memory and it will remember what you did. And I don't like this thing this close because it's out of focus. Okay. And then you're just going to cut that off and crimp it down with a pair of pliers. Huh? Alright, there we go. Okay. 